Hey guys, welcome back. Back on our Forbes 13. Today you're gonna see you're gonna see my wife giggle and giggle. So hi guys, welcome back. Today on the Forbes 13, Bree's gonna attempt to mash together a bunch of videos that I've made when I've been doing work on the van, making some mods. It's a bit choppy changey, so I hope you enjoy. We'll try and put some you know, soothing music behind it so it transitions a little better. <laughs> back to our channel um back on the forbes 13 plus a few extra mods we've done these are just other bits aren't related to anything else we've done um just things to make it easier for us while we travel so start the front i said before change this guy over it was just a really long like meter and a half bit of stainless wire or something that they gave us got one of these from caravan shop um yeah, the next one up the front here this lead here, this is for the rear view camera, which I've put in. So I'll show you where that is. I ran that inside the chassis rail, right through all the way to the back of the van. And then it comes out. I follow this inside the tire bar. Pops out there inside this tube. This is something I fabricated up. Um, we might show you a bit of that footage. What we're working on today is a few more mods for the van. I'm going to try and install this as a rear view camera onto the van. Now, as you can see over here, I've got the back folded down. I've sort of done a bit of mucking around this morning to see um, where we want to mount it. I had looked at sort of mounting it direct in the middle here, but I think it's just going to be a little bit too low. Won't be able to see as clearly um, over cars and stuff like that. So we're going to do a bracket off here, come out and run this way to about the middle of the two tyres. So it's up a bit higher and yeah, so I've got just some scrap steel from another thing that I made for something. Yeah, marked it out. So I'll start the process of cutting that and then we'll do some welding and when it's all ready, we'll disconnect all the batteries before we weld stuff onto there so we don't destroy the batteries. And then we'll run the cable all the way through to the front. Boom, there's my camera. It's currently on the floor because I've got the van open. But yeah, outside, I'll put another TV mount. I haven't got the van level, ignore the bubble. So put a mount in there. That, I'll just put some nut certs into the van. Obviously, Sikaflex around them all. And then Sikaflex in the hull, screwed the man. That one I plugged out too much goop. So it's in there. But that lets us hang the telly outside. And then to power the telly and whatnot, I put a power outlet here, one side's USB, one side's 12 volt, and an antenna point, so we can watch our TV outside. The next one, this, I put a wine guard antenna in, so I was told that there was a full antenna, TV antenna system and that in here. Um, I did a bit of a hunt around and found that it ran up there to a box coiled up in the top. And when I pulled off the bottom end of it, it was literally just jammed on with a cable tie, 
I wasn't doing anything. So I bought a wine guard unit. That's the master head amp for it. And I redid the cable, pulled the cable through, terminated it properly, gave it power. And then I had to put a hole through the roof for this guy. It was the most appropriate spot for it. The antenna lies down on the roof down there. And then when you're ready to go, you want to use it, you wind the antenna up and then you can point your antenna to wherever you need to go. A little bit green on the roof today, but that is the antenna. Some other changes. So I've added here, either side of the bed, a dual USB and a 12 volt outlet. And then I've also added this in this here turns on and wakes up. It's only been in for a couple of days, so it's not showing the best stuff and there's no sunlight, but I've just put a current shunt in on the output of the DC-DC charger, and this will tell me how much my solar's putting in. And the reason why I did that is because I've added an extra solar input, which I'll show you in a sec, and I want to make sure, because the charge is limited to 25 amp, I can see here what I'm getting in if it's a crappy weather day, or you know, if I'm parked in the shade or whatever, I can add a, a solar blanket and plug that in and make sure that I'm not gonna overdo the charge or anything. So this was like 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something on eBay. Cut a rectangle hole and wired it up. So yeah. Anyway, here we go. Looking at installing some more tanks into our Forbes 13 water tanks. Um, they're purely for drinking water. We'll be able to top up the other tanks for it. Um, so we'll have a quick look at what we're doing. I'll explain a little bit more about what it is. So this is the two tanks we're looking at putting in. They're 43 litre tanks. Uh, they'll be in parallel. So they'll both fill and, and deplete at the same time. And I'll add another tank gauge to it and fit that up so we'll be able to see how full these are. All right, so if I get up underneath the van. So the plan is to mount these two tanks in that gap in there, running that way. Forwards and backwards, they'll fit between those two mounts for the swing arms. The tank weight will also be then centered over the axle area. So that won't affect any of our ball loadings or anything like that. So the reason why we've decided to add more tanks rather than doing the grey water conversion is because some of the places we're going to be heading to, we know that we can't just let our grey water spill out. We have to contain it. So this gives us uh, another 86 litres of water. I'll set them up in a configuration so that they are purely for drinking water only. We'll have a separate pump for that, but we'll be able to transfer the water into the other tanks if the other tanks become depleted and we need some water to wash dishes or need some water for a shower or anything like that. Back to the tanks. So to mount them up, as you can see, they've got four depressions in the tank, which we'll utilize to run some gal strapping in underneath them and bolt them up under the van. I'll have to weld some flat bar into the bottom of the van to bolt them in. Um, but to make the straps, went up to Bunnings, got some 20 by three mil gal, cut them off with the bolt cutters because it's a lot quieter than the run in the grinder. And pretty much what we're doing is making this here. And then we will bend here out this way, put a hole in it so we can run a bolt up into the flat bar which I'll drill and tap and then put a lock nut over the top of it so that in the vibrations it doesn't come out.
All right, so up under the van, we're trying to get these water tanks in. And the first thing we've got to do is cut these out. Uh, we'll either weld them back onto the new brackets that I'm putting in for the van, or we'll get some P-clips and tie them in. All right, so next bit, I've got a cut. I've just got some 50 by three mil gauze strip from Bunnings. It's got three meter length, just chopped it roughly in half to get it home. And yeah, so mark it out, chop it out, and then we'll look at how we're gonna mount that up. All right, so the tanks, we're going to go up here, obviously cut those bits off, got them nice and smooth. Got some rails, I'm going to weld one end of it up here, one on this guy, and one on the guy right at the edge of the tank just here. You can see, about there. Yeah, measure that out and have a look and then we'll get the welder out and weld it in. Right, as you can see, got this strap here in the place, just propped up the bottle jack on the brick, because why not? Um, gonna weld it, mid weld it. I've cleaned up the surfaces, got rid of the gal so I get better stiction, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, before you weld on anything, cars or uh, caravans or anything, make sure you disconnect all your batteries. So I've gone in, I've disconnected the main isolator at the batteries and I've also taken all the negative terminals off because you're not going to blow your batteries up. So yeah, let's uh, have a look and see how this goes. One of the things I wanted to show you, part of the reason why I'm changing this is we were getting a real bad plastic smell, or plastic taste rather, out of our water a lot. And um, and even though we were filtering it, it still had a really bad taste. And as I've started pulling stuff apart, I've really noticed that the plumbing, the piping that's been chosen in the van, really isn't suited, even though it's a potable water hosing, it's really not actually suited for this sort of application because you get stuff growing in this sort of pipe because it's clear um, even though you don't get much sunlight because it is under the van on a bright hot sunny day you'll still get some uh, light under there which causes stuff to grow in your water all right so that's under the van i've got the new pipe i've just bought that from caravans plus it's potable water it's black in color it's three mil thick wall and under here so, I've got, okay, let's see, there's two tanks in there, that's all the plumbing. That's the bash plate, all fixed up underneath. Actually sits mm, fractionally higher than the rear tank anyway. It's pretty much central over the axle, so it shouldn't affect any weight loadings. And down in there, hopefully you can see it. There's a micro diaphragm pump and a strainer, and I plumbed all that in. That, so that those two tanks feed up into that pump, and then they feed out. And down in here, I added a water filter. Inside our kitchen here, I added this tap, and the new water filter that's there, dedicated water comes out of there. All right, so that was our sort of electrical and water storage sort of changes, mods to the Forbes 13 Plus. Uh, coming up soon, there'll be some other videos on uh, some of the storage and other little changes that were made. 
Yep, there will be as always. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you've got any requests that you want to see in more detail, um, again, comment below or email us. Um, and that's a wrap. <laughs> so this is take two for the water tank install bit. Supposedly I should know better than to, you know, film with my camera vertically. It needs to be horizontal or something along for something, something perfection. I don't know. So anyway, here we go. Hi guys, welcome back. My wife's got the end. Yeah, Less, less triple change on my behalf.